The World Economic Forum has just published its report on inclusive growth and development. The two-year study into income equality puts Indonesia solidly in the top half of 38 countries that make up WEF's lower middle income bracket. The report identifies ways policymakers can drive economic growth alongside equality and assesses them on their success at implementing measures. Jennifer Blank, WEF's chief economist, says Indonesia is doing well in several fields, including access to finance and education, but improvement is needed for education quality and women's participation in the economy. Indonesia ranks eighth in its bracket for education and skills, coming in the top ten for all subcategories, access, quality and education. Elsewhere, in financial intermediation of real economy investment, which rates how money invested in the economy goes to productive use, corruption and rent, Indonesia ranks ninth, including a seventh position in business and political ethics. But WEF says the country's weak 23-ranked social protection system brings it to 19th in its fiscal transfers category, despite a generally well-regarded tax code ranked 11th. So Indonesia comes in at the top half of the rankings of the lower middle income economies if you look pretty much across the board, not in every area, but in many of the seven areas that we're measuring. Uh, and what this means is that Indonesia is punching above its weight uh, when it comes to inclusive growth at its stage of development and given its resources that are at its disposal. Uh, but you have to remember that this is a bit of a mixed bag. Indonesia does very well in a few areas such as access to finance uh, and getting children into the educational system, but it does need to improve in some of those other areas that we were talking about in terms of you know, increasing women's participation in the economy uh, and really upgrading uh, the